the intent and, and the effect of government policies will, I'm sure, be to make sure that that does not have to happen. And welcome though these initiatives might be for some people, they're not going to be the only option. They shouldn't be the only option, as your question implies. Now, I'm confident that uh, the package of help that's there and the package of help to come for uh, Prime Minister will uh, make real progress in that regard. Fi finally, if I if we can, yes, finally, if I can get a word from you, you're probably aware in your brief as culture and media that festivals are very much on your watch. Of course, a lot of people have had a wonderful time at Notting Hill and at Reading and at Leeds festivals, but we have to look at the fact that sadly a life has been lost at Notting Hill. Armed police have had to bring order at Reading and Leeds, and it would appear one young man in Leeds has lost his life due to drug taking. Uh, what are you going to do about this level of lawlessness? This is handy, as you're the broadband minister. You can't hear me, can you? That is sensational, and the picture's frozen. So there we go. We've got the government banging on about however many billion pounds worth it is. A bank crash off its gigabit, and he can't take the question. Uh, you can't hear me, but I'll be polite. Matt Warman, Minister of State <clears throat> for Digital Culture, Media and Sport, talking about the progress of broadband and the line collapses. But thank you for your time.